Hey guys, this is Danny from Eat Lab Designers. I just got a message from a user uh, not too long ago, and they wanted to get some help with pop-ups uh, on their website, and they had no idea how to do it. But they weren't looking just for an alert, so to say. They were they were looking for the new type of styled pop-ups that come up. So they're a beginner, but only with JavaScript. So you know, by this point, you need to understand HTML and CSS to, to kind of get what I'm. I'm gonna do here. So um, I already made a folder on my desktop. Um, the name of it is Tut for this tutorial. Um, I have my HTML document, and I've also done my uh, site structure. So I have my JavaScript images and CSS files already, already done. So what I'm gonna do is um, open this up with a uh, Dreamweaver. Here we go. So uh, this is what the HTML of the site looks like. Um, as you can see. Uh, I just have style for the the page of my site and the pop-up uh, styling and all of this is downloadable um, on my website I'll give you the link for it at the bottom um, this site requires you to be online to use it because I'm calling an external uh, jQuery source that's hosted online and uh, has a, a jQuery function that we're using for the pop-up uh, other than that, there's not much going on. There's container, content, post. I think those are the only divs I use besides this pop up three one. Um, got this from a tutorial online actually. Well, the, the, just the code of it, and it was kind of tricky for for people to understand. So I just wanted to help you out. Um, so let's view this really quick and see what it looks like, so I can show you what I'm talking about. So here's the uh, the index file there. So this is what you're going to get. Uh, it's going to be a styled pop-up uh, with you know, CSS3 uh, border radius, and um, I put in a form so that you know this is interactive. Uh, some things that you will need uh, to do on your own is the images. I did these in like 30 seconds. I just googled this thumbs up um, and created this really quick. Um, the images that I use are also going to be given to you, but um, this guy is 150 by 138 and this is a uh, 30 by 30 so if you wanted to create those before starting that'd be cool too um, the positioning is actually taken care of by um, the jQuery making the CSS throw it up there and this is just a uh, CSS right here so I can walk you through the code really quick um, this is actually the content is just for the page so let me pop back over and close this this is what uh, what I'm walking through right now, and this is just styled in the, in the uh, style.css. So that's all this is here, and uh, this is actually the pop-up. So as you can tell, the pop-up's already on the page. It's just hidden by the uh, CSS and and brought up by the jQuery once it's called. Um, so the name of the ID is pop-up three, and it has a class of pop-up block, and that hides it before it gets um, put up. The image of uh, the thumbs up here, it has uh, some inline styling. I uh, just did that really quick. And then here's the actual um, text you see in the pop up. So, as you can see, you can do whatever you want with the pop up. Um, the rest is just the styling. So, mine is uh, to mimic, to mimic uh, those uh, pop ups that you get online when you go to a site for the first time and they already want you to know what you think of the site before you used it. Um, instead, I just I asked what brought you there and um, they could fill out a form. The form does nothing right now. It's a HTML form. You could always add PHP to it and have it send you some info if you want, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So uh, let me refresh this. So this is what you're going to get, and I'll walk you through some of the code so that you could understand it. Um, to get it to go, first you're going to need to um, import the uh, page style. That's all preference. Um, mine is, is set up so that you know these these attributes are and values are applied to my page it's just the way I wanted it um, and then here's the pop-up styling pop-up styling is to get exactly this here with the white inside you know this font um, you know these bolded uh, in this color border um, that one is um, if you want to get it right the first time I, I suggest importing what I have, which is popup.css, and then um, editing yourself. Um, it just takes care of everything you need and you know styles it pretty well. Um, after that, you could see that we 
call the uh, external jQuery. Uh, this is the older jQuery model, so if you have the newer one, you know, and you want it, you already have jQuery downloaded for your site, it'll work because it's newer, so they're backwards compatible. And then um, I'm calling in the pop-up function. Um, this is pretty much the reason why I'm already giving you the code because it's kind of long and don't have time to write this all. Um, but pretty much you can see it has a document ready. That's why you don't see it on my HTML site. Um, and then it's just it's just getting some things and uh, adding attrib attributes like the uh, the uh, anchor tag there and uh, it's getting uh, you know the uh, variable sorry and it's um, adding attributes to it and making it fade in and fade out with some uh, jQuery functions. So um, you call this in. I have it external already. And then if you need to um, change anything around, I, I believe the um, right here you can see that it's um, prepending the image of the close button. Uh, that's all edited there. So that's the only thing you'd really have to edit if you wanted to change some stuff out. Um, and this actually calls everything too. So if you needed to change uh, the onload or anything like that, and also. You can see here there's a width involved, and that's done with the um, the HTML href. So if you wanted to edit like width and, and height, you could uh, also do it with this. And uh, everything from the opacity to uh, how it's called is going to be on here. And um, like I said, with this form, you could also um, add some PHP to it and get it going. But you know nobody was understanding how to how to put this together, at least for my users. And I got some, some mail for it, and here it is. So um, I hope this helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.